please make sure to like the video, subscribe with post notifications. And after I show you guys the settings, I'm going to have the arena gameplay after that. So jumping into my settings, I play on 120 FPS because I play on a PS5. And then my brightness is at 150%. My colorblind is try to know with the colorblind strength of 8. That's just how I personally like my game to look. Uh, and then I don't play with motion blur because it kind of messes up my vision and it adds extra input delay. Show FPS, I have that on. And uh, auto open doors, mantle activation, um, hold swap to pick up. That's an important setting if you guys want to turn that on. And then auto sort consum consumables to the right. And then uh, disable pre edit option turbo building. And then auto confirm edits is the main setting that we're going to be focusing on here. Uh, I have it on both. I did a video on it a couple days ago explaining it, explaining what auto confirm edits is. You guys can have it on just reset, but I use edit on release and I liked the new reset feature, so I have it on both. Uh, and then coming over here, there's not really much else on this page. Come over here, my HUD scale is 70, and then you got these settings. You guys can pause the video. And then coming over to my controller settings, I haven't really been playing Fortnite as much recently, but these are my updated settings. Um, my edit hold time is still all the way down. Slide hold time is still the same. My build sensitivity uh, 2.0, 1.7. I might have changed that up a little bit. Then I changed my look sensitivity to a little bit faster, 42 for horizontal and 42 for vertical then i still have the two percent boost on each of these uh no turning boost ramp time instant boost when building have that on my ads is still a 10 10 i feel like that gives you the best aim and then you come down here no boost for for any of my ads uh linear I'm still playing on linear and then aim assist at 100 and my dead zone i did end up raising my dead zone because i noticed stick drift in my controller so my left stick dead zone that doesn't really matter it's 11 percent but i changed the right stick dead zone to 15 because of the stick drift and then uh you guys can copy my sound settings if you guys want to play with visualize sound effects on and then um coming over to my binds same binds left stick edit switch mode right on the d-pad i play with paddles so i just press my left paddle and that's my switch mode and then my map is my touchpad i jump with right stick and then uh, my pickaxe i pull out with triangle i still take my thumb off the joystick to press my pickaxe i don't use a paddle for that my sprint is circle and my crouch is x i don't use a paddle for that either i actually move my finger off the, the joystick then you come over to these settings same thing right here and then my confirm button is still l2 and my reset is still r1 i think this week i might try and switch to l1 confirm and keep it on r1 reset but we'll see and i hope you guys enjoy the gameplay Over here, over here. They're over here. Right here on me. One shot, one shot. Knocked. We're not landing here no more.
83. Dead. Crack. Wait, 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 wait. I got a heal. Pop him in either. Oh, they're both on me. That's fine. Cut. Knocked. Hundred seventy. Dead. Oh, he right here. Get his ass. Come here, beast boy. I'm fighting. Dead. On me, Josiah. One shot. Not. Uh. Look, look. Twenty-eight arm. Not. Oh my god. Do you see him? Dead. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me pop mini. 